Hi, I'm Kelly Delaney of Cakes for Occasions in Danvers, Massachusetts. I'd like to teach you how to make edible poker chips. Using fondant frosting, we're going to roll out both red and black fondant to make our poker chips. You want to store your fondant in airtight containers or um, little bags using a little bit of confectioner sugar. We're going to want to dust our workspace so we can roll out our fondant so it doesn't stick. Using confectioner sugar, you're going to want to place it onto the rolling pin so it helps the rolling pin not stick to the fondant. Applying pressure, you're going to want to roll out your fondant, stopping and turning it counterclockwise so it will not, it'll avoid sticking onto your workspace. When you're using fondant as appliques, it's okay to go on the thicker side. So you can see the thickness that I have here. We just have a nice little circle um, cookie cutter that we're going to use for our chip. And we're going to cut out six poker chips. And we'll re repeat the process with the red. Okay, so we're going to line up our poker chips in front of us. Using a basic household fork, we're going to be using this to make our little crimp sides of our poker chip. If you're making them well in advance, you can take these poker chips, put them in the air airtight container just as is, but then you can pipe on your dollar amount on the chip when you're ready to use them. I'm Kelly Delaney of Cakes for Occasions in Danvers, Massachusetts, and this is how you make edible poker chips for decorations.